One of my constituents is a Zimbabwean national, an asylum seeker, who had an outstanding claim and who, upon arrival at Vulcan House Immigration Centre in Sheffield for a routine interview, was met by officials of the Zimbabwean government. It appears to me that the Home Office have acted in contravention of immigration rules and it obviously puts her at greater risk of persecution by the Zimbabwean government, about which there is great concern. Now, I wrote to the Immigration Minister on this issue on the 27th of February, seeking an urgent response. I have not received any response, as my representations to her have been directed to the Correspondence Unit, uh, and my representations to the Correspondence Unit have yielded nothing. This matter has become urgent because my constituent has now been told that her claim has been denied and that she must leave the UK. So I would be grateful for your advice on how I can progress this matter with the Minister of State for Immigration urgently. I also welcome your advice on how I can be reassured that my constituent will not be removed from the UK until the matter is resolved. He raises both a general concern about the Home Office's response to urgent correspondence from members of Parliament and a specific matter about the possible removal from the UK of his constituent. Because there is a responsibility upon ministers timiously and substantively to respond both to questions from honourable and right honourable members and to correspondence from them. Traditionally, the Leader of the House under successive governments, and I hope this continues to be the case, I have no reason to think otherwise, has accepted some responsibility for chasing ministers where replies are tardy. I very much hope that that will continue to be the case and that the matter will be pursued. I underline that it is unsatisfactory if there are not prompt and substantive responses. That, frankly, does need to change.